They may have held hands once, but this so-called special relationship is now being tested by a series of presidential tweets. First, from the account of the far-right anti-Muslim group called Britain First, Donald Trump retweeted three inflammatory videos to his 43 million followers. The first claimed incorrectly to show a Muslim migrant attacking a man on crutches. When challenged, the White House said the videos might not be real, but the threat was. Both Theresa May and a lot of the other world leaders across this country, I mean across the world, know that these are real threats uh, that we have to talk about. I think Europe has seen that a lot firsthand and um, something the president wants to continue to talk about and continue to make sure that we're dealing with. Theresa May is on a tour of the Middle East, but her official spokesman said the president had been wrong to share the posts. It was that condemnation which prompted a Twitter outburst from Donald Trump's account. He told Theresa May not to focus on him, but to focus on the destructive radical Islamic terrorism that is taking place within the United Kingdom. We are doing just fine, he said. The president has caused diplomatic headaches for the UK several times already this year. From backing Nigel Farage as an ambassador to Washington to attacking the London Mayor Sadiq Khan, all from his favourite social media platform. It may be a show of strength for his supporters, but it may also weaken his position abroad. Laura Bicker, BBC News, Washington. Uh, let's talk to Norman. He's at Westminster. So what have the British government said about this tweet? Well, there's been a sort of stunned silence from Number 10 this morning because they went to bed and all seemed well with the world or not any more chaotic than usual. They wake up to find Mrs May being directly attacked and criticised by the president. Now, I think that is unprecedented in the sense, yes, we're used to Donald Trump laying waste to all and sundry, including other uh, sort of foreign leaders, but never to an ally, and particularly given that we, you know, hope, think, believe we have good relations with the United States. So, you know, there has been no response at all from Downing Street, and there probably won't be until Mrs May um, has a question and answer session in Jordan, where she's going to be speaking later this afternoon. But there is now massive pressure on her over the state visit, which yesterday Downing Street was saying, still happening, America is an ally, it's still going ahead. But the level of anger and criticism that Donald Trump's tweets have provoked. I mean, it stretches across the political divide. It stretches right up uh, into the cabinet. I was particularly struck, actually, by Sajid Javid, the tweet that he fired off last night. And you get the sense he is personally incensed. Let me just read you what he actually said. He said, so POTUS has endorsed, endorsed the views of a vile, hate-filled, racist organization that hates me and people like me. He is wrong and I refuse to let it go and say nothing. You get a real sense of his personal anger. Slightly less um, angry was the Cabinet Minister David Gork this morning, but he is normally, you know, fairly mild-mannered sort of bloke and even he was criticising the President. In normal circumstances this sort of thing doesn't happen, uh, but we're not in normal circumstances. Um, the, the fact is when the president uh, did what he did yesterday in terms of tweeting, uh, retweeting Britain first, I think the prime minister had no choice but to point out that that was wrong, uh, and uh, she was correct to do so. Of course, in you know, we want to have a good relationship with the United States. They are our closest security ally. They're one of our most important economic uh, partners. Uh, and we want to have that close relationship and we need to engage with the United States, including the President of the United States. Uh, but when he's got something uh, as badly wrong as he has, um, we're right to call him out on it. Mr Cork went on to say that he thought it might be, quote, educational for the President now to come to Britain as part of that state visit. But quite apart from the controversy over the state visit, this matters because there is a question mark now about relations between Mrs May and Donald Trump. And remember, this was sort of a key part of Mrs May's sort of diplomatic offensive when she uh, became Prime Minister. There was that famous handy-handy moment in the uh, White House. Now you wonder... Given the president clearly is a man who, you know, does not take lightly to criticism and seems to, you know, bear grudges, whether that relationship has been seriously damaged and the potential implications then for the post-Brexit world we're about to enter and in particular our prospects of, of getting a trade deal. One last thing, lighter note, Vic. 
The president initially tweeted the wrong Theresa May. He, he tweeted a lady called Theresa Scrivener, who has just six followers. I looked a few moments ago. She's still only got six followers. Maybe it'll go up during the day.